gig. Hey, pleasure to meet you again. How's yeah. it going? I remember you, man. I, I also love your uh, your color theme you got going on in there, the pastels and the greens, and it's very nice. It's beautiful. I'm actually at someone else's place, so I'm having technical problems, but I'm doing this over the phone uh, with you. So <laughs> well, they got a beautiful home. Let them know. I I, I will most certainly do. Yep. So John, so one day as a line, this uh, this film is uh, quite interesting, is because I I feel like it's uh it's quite different from the last two films that I talked spoke with you about. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would, I would, I would say it is. You know, it's a little bit lighter fare. <laughs> so, so tell me, um, is it very often that you um, direct uh, films based on not your scripts? Um, it's not very often. It's actually the only time I've not, uh, you know, th that I've done something that's not my script. Um, so yeah, it was a, uh, a departure. So then tell us what uh, initially drew you to uh, this, uh, this project then. Um, Scott Kahn, uh, he's, a, um, he's got a nice smile and uh, he's got an infectious energy and a bubbly personality. And uh, he's just a sweetheart. He's just a button of a guy. And, uh, you know, he wrote this script and, you know, Jeremy, my producer, gave it to me to read. And uh, we just fell in love with each other. And, and here we are. So how, how did you want to approach a film like One Day as a Lion, which is a little bit lighter fare. There's a little bit more humor, still a little bit of action in there. So, yeah, um, you know, I, I wanted to approach it. Um, and just have fun and make sure that the audience had fun. So, you know, even with the action and the darker elements, I, I thought, you know, we'd, we'd keep them as light as possible and uh, just keep the story moving. You know, it's a, it's a uh, schlog at 87 minutes. So, you know, um, you know, there's kind of no time to, uh, there's no, not a dull moment, you know, it's, uh, it just keeps moving and, and there's great characters around every turn and, Glad people are loving the movie. Now, a few times that I spoke to you, you always have this setting in the Midwest. Um, so talk about uh, keep it. In, is, is this kept, still kept in your uh, in your backyard? Yep, yep. Uh, some scenes were actually shot in my my real backyard too. So yeah. Uh, you know, literal backyard shooting going on over here. And, uh, you know, but all shot in Oklahoma where I've done all but one movie. So um, it's nice to be able to film these at home. So even though it's someone else's script, you managed to keep this as your your project. You, you, you have all control over it. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy and I, you know, we, we pride ourselves on doing things a certain way and making movies at a certain uh, uh, level of integrity. Um, so it was important for us that, you know, even though, you know, Scott wrote it, um, that we retained the, you know, control over the material and, and the story itself and, uh, and the way the movie was put out. And, you know, we're, we're proud that it's remained intact. And we believe with the, the spirit in which the script had, it is, uh, it has maintained that, that fun, you know, uh, you know, uh, overall vibe. So, yep. So tell me about working with Scott, because this, I believe this is your first time working with Scott. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, he's got a great smile. Uh, he's a, just a bubbly button of a guy. And, uh, you know, he's, he's as excited as anybody when you get him on a movie set, he loves being on a movie set. He loves acting and, uh, we had a blast. Now, if I recall, you always love working with actors that uh, that you constantly work with. And this time around, I believe George Carroll is back. Frank Grillo is back. Tell about uh, reassembling, you know, your favorite your favorite co-workers, I would like to say, onto your project again. What was it like 
doing that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's kind of like having family around, you know. Uh, you know, you get to know these people um, really, really well uh, on and off camera. So, you know, when you get to include them and, and bring them on to something, it, it just further enhances the familial vibe on the movie set, which, uh, you know, these things are, are hard enough to make. So, you know, if you can make them with your friends and with the people you care about, it makes it that much better. When you're, when you are doing movies with your friends like this, is it because you know how they act or they know how to act with you? I mean, is it like very little instructions to give them? Yeah. I mean, you know, you get a shorthand, you know, um, so it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, an unspoken language and, you know, Scott was no exception to that. You know, he and I spent enough time together talking about the script before we shot it that, uh, you know, it was, it was pretty automatic once we got there and, uh, we got it done, you know, without a hitch. You know, John, one of the things that I love is the fact that you got JK Simmons in a cowboy hat. Yeah. That, that is something to admire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was, uh. It was uh, a dream come true of mine. <laughs> so what was the greatest challenge uh, for you on one day as a lion for yourself? Um, you know, this one day we had a, uh, for for our, our catering, we had this hot dog guy come and I think I ate, you know, seven or eight hot dogs and, and I hadn't eaten that much in one sitting in a long time and it was a, that was the biggest challenge of the whole movie was getting down all seven of those hot dogs. <laughs> I love that, John. You, you, you crack me up uh, with, with these, with these stories. So are you, are you getting back uh, to the nitty gritty um, type of filmmaking again, or you want to kind of stick into the lighter genre for yourself? And I think we'll make one more dip back into the nitty gritty uh, and uh and uh, see how that goes, and then and then maybe a rom com after that. So, a rom com, yeah, or, yeah, or a faith, different. yeah, maybe a faith based movie. I don't know. You know, uh, I'm open to it all. <laughs> well, John, once again, it's a pleasure in uh, speaking with you. I I love uh, talking to you, and you know, this I want to say this is the third time we we met. I I and I think the rule is if I have to talk to you again i have to form a fan club or something well gig i appreciate you and and again i mean uh the, the color palette you got going on man it's beautiful and uh you know it's a it's a pleasure to get to see you again i will let i will let my host know and thank you very much and i will have to say next time yeah there you go see you next time gig thank you john <laughs>